Hello, my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to your monthly love, career and finance, health and wellness, forecast, horoscope for April. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you guys for all of your support. If you would like to become a member, all you do is click the join button below. And of course, if you like a personal reading with me, it's jenniferwalkerson.com or check out the description box below. So guys, you can check your moon, your rising, or your sun sign. For more information, feel free to cross watch. If you like it this new way, you want me to continue it this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. All right, let's jump right in. So what's going on with my Scorpio's romantic love life? What's going on with my Scorpio's career and finance? Give me nine cards for my Scorpio romantic love life. Give me six cards for their career and finance for April. Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. What's going on with my Scorpio's romantic love life? What's going on with my Scorpio's career and finance? Give me nine cards for my Scorpio's romantic love life. Give me six cards for Scorpio's career and finance for the time period of April. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. How does my Scorpio's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they wanna know about, how does my Scorpio's love interest feel about my Scorpio's? Give me two cards for their feelings and give me one card for advice. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, so let's lay this down, Scorpio. Okay, so I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, we got one, two, three, four, five, and six. Very interesting here. Okay. We got one, two, and three. Okay, so as you guys can see, it's a pretty extensive reading. We're gonna layer more cards on top of this, so stick with me to the end. Let's jump right in. Before I do this though, Scorpio, I wanna get an overall message for what you guys need to know for the month of April. Now, this, is, this can be anything. It can be love, it can be career and finance. So I just want to get a message of what you're going to need to know for the month of April. Anything that you want to know here, okay? So we're going to ask Spirit, what does Scorpio need to know for the month of April that they don't know that they need to know that could help them with the month of April? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Let's see what's going on here. All right, so we got the mending. We got the yin. And we have a crossroads energy. All right, so this could be anything, right? Love, this could be career and finance, this could be health and wellness, it could be spiritual path. All right, so let's take a look at this. So first of all, we see that there is some healing of a relationship between another person, right? We see two people in that card and there is some healing going on. And it looks like they're actually working together here, right, to create something. Seven, there's a lot of thinking, contemplating, and analyzing here. It looks like you guys are gonna to have to connect to your intuition here. We got the yin card energy, or there's something to do with a feminine energy there. Okay, and it looks like you're at a crossroads and you're gonna to have to make some kind of choice. It doesn't look like you're, you're tied to the post there, so it looks like the, that particular, I think that's a deer. It's either a deer or a moose, but anyway. They are tied to the post there. So I feel like you guys are kind of stuck and you're going to have to choose a direction here. Okay. So it's saying, think about this choice because of the fact that four is telling me it's going to have to be done in a structured, organized way, right? A sense of foundation here with the four card energy and find the right direction here. Use your intuition so things can be mended, repaired. Okay. So now let's jump into your romantic love life. So we see there's something to do with family and long-term commitment here with the 10 of pentacles energy. Let's see what that's about. Mm -hmm. 
and love. Look at that, a soulmate connection. We see that this is the soulmate or the couple card or a choice being made with the heart there for family and long-term commitment. Guys, it looks like they feel like there's a wise decision when it comes to long-term commitment here. Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy is coming out. There is this sense of being left down the cold or the sense of loss here with the rat's card energy. So let's see, we do see that there's a twin flame soulmate connection with the lover's card energy. And then we got the pig card coming out, which is telling me that there's some overindulgence going on here. What? Okay, all right. I feel like what's going on for you guys is, now with the 10 of pentacles, it can be family. It can also mean something to do with money. And there's choices that are gonna have to be made here with the heart. There's wisdom about you know using your life experience when it comes to long-term commitments because pentacles represents money, family, and long-term commitments, right? So there's a sense of wisdom about making a wise decision when it comes to long-term commitments because obviously that's there because there is a sense of loss or a sense of being left out in the cold. Because that's like the left out in the cold card energy according to this deck. And we see that there is this twin flame soulmate card here and the pig card for this deck means overindulgence, okay? So love and a sense of being left out with cold or a sense of loss because of a lot of overindulgence. Family and long-term commitment and wisdom around a long-term commitment because of choice being made with the heart. Now let's take a look at it. I feel like for you guys, you have more than one choice or option because we got three card energy and because I see that the the rat's card's coming out, right? For me, and then there's, there's there's three individuals in the card. Yes, there's two rats in the person, but yes, there's three uh, energies there. <laughs> okay, and we see the lover's card also talks about a choice. It can talk about a, a choice, okay? And also the pig card energy can speak of abundance. Mm, okay, so, and we look here, there is some challenges or changes around stability and stables because you have to find a creative solution here with the three card energy or you have more than one choice or option. Okay, and the reason also why I say that too is because if I look below that card, we have the Six of Pentacles energy. Somebody is being very giving here or something needs to be balanced in the situation because there's not an equal give and take here. Mm, but let's, let's clarify that card. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what did I say, Scorpio? We got secrets coming out here. Secret, secret, secrets. Okay. All right, love, secret love here. Secret lovers going on here. Mm -hmm. And we see family and long-term commitment, okay? And something that needs to be brought into balance there. There's some wisdom here about making wise choices when it comes to long-term commitment because the sense of loss or sense of being left out in the cold. And somebody's playing chess here with the Emperor card energy. What is going on here? Emperor card energy, somebody is, is definitely got the control here or they want some sense of control. They want things structured and organized in a certain way. Let's clarify that card. It looks like there is an opportunity here for your success and you have multiple keys on that ring there. So you have quite a few opportunities here to unlock that, that door. Hmm. There's some stress and anxiety happening here, Scorpio, with the Nine of Swords energy. So some stress is happening here because of this stuck energy with the anchor card energy or something that needs to be sacrificed there because that's the hangman energy. So there's something secret about this opportunity which is making the stuck energy or the sense of having to sacrifice here. Something needs to be brought into balance and things are structured and organized in a certain way. Okay. For some of you with the emperor card being there, there could be a work-related situation or a boss or um, the sense of, all right, this has to be done in a certain way. It needs to be structured and organized in a certain way here because there's a sense of stress around it. And the stress here is because something isn't balanced. Something needs to be equal give and take here. Wow. And this opportunity is secret about this stuck energy, which is causing stress. Scorpio, what is going on here? Oh my goodness. Okay. So how does your love interest feel about you? They feel like they would like commitment, engagement, or marriage here. They're committed to you and or they like to marry you and they do have romantic feelings for you scorpio they feel like their their feelings are real and worth exploring okay so this person is committed to you or they'd like to marry you something to do with some kind of commitment here and they do feel like they have feelings for you 
Okay, <laughs> so let's keep going here. Scorpio, when it comes to your advice, you are gonna have to take control of things here. The chariot card energy is coming out, saying you gotta use your willpowers if you wanna be victorious here. The card itself says you're gonna have to assert yourself and take charge of your destiny here. Let's clarify one more card here. Mm -mm. We see money here. What did I say here? Ten of Pentacles can represent money. Emperor can represent something to do with work. Okay. Something to do with taking control of the situation when it comes to money and long-term commitment or don't allow money and finances to hinder your romantic endeavors here. You're going to have to gain some certainty here around the situation because some things here are a little bit uncertain. A true romantic connection is unclear. A deeper understanding is required. So Scorpio, you're going to have to take charge of this. For some of you, there is a work-related situation going on here. And Spirit's saying, don't let the finances hinder your romantic love life when it comes to this. You're going to have to gain clarity here because there's uncertainty around this. You're going to have to take control of things if you want to be victorious here. If this is the love interest that you're asking about, they do have feelings for you. And they would like a commitment with you, okay? With the ring card energy coming out. So let's keep going here, Scorpio. There is this flirty energy coming out. So there's some flirting going on with you. And this person wants to pay you a visit, right? They feel like you're, they're going in the right direction. They're on the right road there. Oh my God, Scorpio, their secrets here. The Empress card energy is coming out. Their secrets here coming out again. And then we got money again. What's going on with this? We got money and secrets happening here again. So there is this love or this choice that's being made with the heart, something to do with money and finance and something secret about giving here or somebody wanting to give here, giving money here and they're flirting here because they feel like they're going in the right direction. There's a sense of loss. Am I making a wise decision when it comes to long-term commitment? I have this opportunity to take control of things. There's something secret about this abundance here. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's keep going. So we got the world card energy. You're gonna have a sense of accomplishment and a sense of completion here. Oh, Scorpio, oh my God. Somebody from the past is coming up. Oh my goodness. You are gonna have quite a month here, okay? Mm. Okay, so let's go through this again. There is some kind of sense, somebody's feeling left out in the cold and they, there's some kind of secret here. There's abundance coming towards you because they feel stuck. So there's gonna be some abundance coming towards you because they feel stuck. Um, there is something to do with a family, long-term commitment and a soulmate connection and flirting here and wanting to pay you a visit here because they want to complete a cycle with you. Somebody from the past, twin flame soulmate connection, um, they want to overindulge themselves with you with that pig card energy okay um we do see you guys have the opportunity to your success here and it could occur during a work related situation with the emperor card energy something to do with the boss okay or you guys are going to have to be really strategic and take control of this because if we come back to the advice again right it's saying that you're going to have to take control of things and you shouldn't let money and finance hinder you when it comes to your uncertainty about this romantic connection. Wow, okay. Let's look at the numbers of this. Three is saying you have more than one choice or option. There's some kind of change or challenge here when it comes to stability and stableness. Six is healing, recovery, and love. And two plus nine is 10, 11. You're gonna have to make a choice. Two plus eight is nine, 10 for some kind of completion towards your wishes here. I feel like you guys have more than one choice or option. Let's take a look at the energies around this. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Well, the Emperor can be an Aries energy and an Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy potentially. There's gonna be a sense of accomplishment or completion here or this person from the past wants a sense of accomplishment or completion here. We see that there is this sense of overindulgence because of a twin flame soulmate connection and stress here about the situation. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my goodness, stress about this because they're stuck and they want to have, they want to complete a cycle with you. It's somebody from the past that's, that's going to be rearing their head. Look at that, the zombie hand's coming out. It means somebody from the past. There is abundance. Oh, I hope it's not saying the abundance of people from the past now. Um, there is something secret here though. And possibly maybe this person is, may even be giving you money here with the abundance card energy. Oh my goodness, so 
they want some kind of potential passion with you. Yeah, they may pay you a visit here, may even give you money here with the abundance card energy because obviously we see money and finances involved with this situation. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Yes, I wanna hear from you guys in the comments below. All right, let's, <laughs> let's see what's going on with your career in finance, all right. You guys are having a lot of opportunities presented to you, but it's like you don't want what you're, what's being offered to you. You guys are looking into some creative solutions here with the Empress card energy, or you're working on some things here with the Empress card energy. And again, Empress can represent abundance, love and abundance there. Let's see, let's clarify that. You're being patient here, even though there's things being offered to you that you don't want. You're focused on something that you do love here with the heart card energy. We see your guys are juggling. So I feel like you guys are multitasking. You have a couple of different things going on here when it comes to career and finance. And why is that there? Because you feel like there's some wisdom around that. So you, you're wanting to have two different choices there and you're kind of going back and forth with that. I feel like you guys are dealing with the sense of loss or being left out in the cold, but you have this opportunity here. You see the key card energy. It's interesting. Your, your romantic love life is mirroring your career in finance. You got this opportunity. You can just unlock the door there. Let's see why that's there. There's something really surprising about the situation for you with the lightning card. You guys are having the sense that you're stuck here and you're going to have to make some kind of sacrifice with the hangman energy. But you're being very strategic or you maybe you feel like you're being stuck because someone's not being honest with you with the fox card energy. But guys, you have a huge opportunity, a huge offer coming up to you with the Ace of Pentacles energy. And guess what? This is a needed surprise that you need here. Because look, at there's something of value here, a gift of a surprise here. So considering all this, wow, that's pretty, that's pretty awesome there. There is this potential for an, an offer here, a serious offer here, which is really going to make you happy. It's going to take you by surprise, actually. Because this is the, the card of surprise. Some kind of gift of surprise is going to come to you. It's going to make you happy. Something to do with love, something surprising, which is going to make you happy. There's this patient energy because you're trying to be wise and you're like, mm, are they being honest with me? You're going to have to make a choice, more than one choice or option or being creative in that solution towards a change that you're going to think and contemplating about because of this change. It's going to have a sense of, man, I need to think about this. Because mm. you guys are like, what am I agreeing to here? There's a lobster and there's a hand. What am I agreeing to here? What is going on with this commitment? Because there's a sense of competition here. And it's like, you're like, I'm going to have to put a lot of work or effort into this. Yes, you have this opportunity to come up. It's going to make you really happy. But it's like, what am I agreeing to here? It's like, you're going to have to take on more work. That's what I feel like here, which is going to make you feel a bit challenged around the situation. Oh my goodness. Scorpios, yes, I want to hear from you guys in the comments below. Let's move on to your health and wellness here. Can I have some advice for my Scorpios health and wellness for April? Show me cards I need to see. Show me cards I need to see. Okay, it's time to get outside and get some sunlight here, Scorpio. <laughs> All right, my darlings. I will be releasing the bi-weeklies. So they'll be out next. If you guys would like a personal reading with me, it's jenniferwalkerzen.com or check out the description box below. I love you guys so much. I hope you guys have a great rest of your month. Yes, there's a lot of stuff going on here, absolutely, and some stuff coming up pertaining to the past, some secrets happening here, lots of stuff, and yes, I want to hear from you guys in the comments below. <laughs> I'll see you guys in another day or two. Of course, when we do the weeklies and the bi-weeklies, you'll get more clarity on this, so I love you guys so much, and I'll see you soon.